Feels good. Feels good? Yeah. Feels pretty good. Oh, not on yet. He's not on yet. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Woo. So before I always use the apex, uh, but I gave this guy a try. I kind of like this because with the apex, the lure basically acts like a crankbait, side to side. But the uh, cup lock actually rolls like a cripple anchovy. Hey guys, stick for tuning into Moon Outdoors. Today I'm going to be showing you how to rig up. Brass Super Bait Coupler. A few people asked me how I rig up the Brass Super Bait Coupler. Um, and since we still got two more months of salmon season and salmon bite continues to be uh, very good, so I decided to make this video ASAP. If you've been following my channel, you guys know Apex was my go to lure for salmon. But the coupler quickly became my favorite. Uh, I had some success last year and this year and uh, the couple of features I really like about. So, let's get started on how to rig Brass Super Bait Coupler. So Brass Super Bait Coupler comes in two different packages, a single package and double package. Single package is pre-rigged, however, it's rigged with the treble hook, which is not legal in California. So, and also, and whenever I get something pre-rigged, I like to change the line and hook anyways. So let's open this guy up. So this is what you get. You get the brass cup plug. Comes with a small chain swivel and a treble hook. And we got a five feet of leader line. And then also comes with uh, the bigger chain swivel. And you get two extra thick rubber bands. So I'm just gonna cut it off. I'm gonna reuse the, uh, the chain swivel if you buy a double pack does not come with a chain swivel like this. I strongly recommend getting a chain swivel like this or B chain. The reason is this lure acts just like the cut plug, kind of like a cripple anchovy. It rolls. The faster you go, it's going to roll faster. A lot of time, a single barrel swivel like this cannot keep up all the rolling. That's why you need a little chain swivel like this or a b-chain like this and that's the one of the reason i like the cup lock over the apex because apex acts like a crankbait go side to side but this rolls mimicking more of an injured bait fish oh by the way if i'm using a tray bait or if i catch a bait fish i this is the cripple anchovy is my go-to and uh, i got a video on how to rig up cripple anchovy and the link will be down in description. So the line came with the uh, brass cup plug. It's uh, rated at 40 pounds. Actually this one looks pretty good but I'm gonna toss this. Because I like using 30 pound line for salmon, uh, either uh, the floral or the 30 pound mono. Personal preference, I like mono better because I don't have a salmon specific rod with a really really slow action. So I like, I can use all the stretch I can get from the mono rather than the floral. So I typically like my leader length to be about, you know, between three to four feet. So I'm going to start out with about five feet of line. And uh, you're also going to need a hook. This is my go-to favorite hook for salmon. It's the owner's no escape. Uh, I like using a three odd personal preference. Uh, I used to use 2 odd. Uh, some people use 5 odd, uh, but uh, 3 odd is what I use now. So these hooks are already barbless and they are really really sharp and they are very strong. And I highly recommend these hooks. So in California out in the ocean, you are allowed to have 2 single shank barbless hooks. 
travel hook is not allowed so you can use this travel hook for something else so I'm gonna tie a hook at the end of the line you can use whatever knot you like to use I'm gonna go with my go-to polymer knot I'm gonna wet it All right, here we go. So now I'm gonna use a modified snail knot, exactly what I do with the Cripple anchovy. So I'm gonna go to the other end of the line here, feed the line through the eye, the hook, and feed it all the way until I get to the other hook. So with the Cripple anchovy, I leave a little bit of space behind, about a half an inch or so, but this guy, I'm gonna be right next to the first hook so modify snail knot is really really simple so you have a line going through the eye right there and you basically wrap it around the shank seven or eight times and you take the very end of the line fit it through the eye again all the way through and you're gonna wet it and then just stitch down that's all is there to it so you got two hooks on the line pretty much right next to each other and you got your breast cut plug breast super big cut plug there's a rubber band here I'm gonna remove that so the other thing I like about this lure is it's got the cavity inside and it comes with a little foam pad right there. I usually just trash this. Uh, you can soak this in a tuna can or whatever fish scent and then uh, put it in there, use it. But what I like to do is flay an anchovy or herring about this size and put it in there for scent. So with this lure, you have the action like an injured bait fish and also it will give out scent so I'm gonna take that rubber band here and I'm gonna to go to the end of the line feed the rubber band and so you got a rubber band right here with the hooks so going back to the other end of the line first you're gonna go through this hole right here and keep feeding it through and come out on this side and there's a little hole feed the line through the hole and then the line will come out right there and slide the bait all the way back towards the hook so here what I do is you know I put a little fillet of whatever bait fish I have if not no big deal and what I like to do is I put the hook right over here where the snail knot is and then I feed the rubber band back into the notch that is meant to hold the rubber band right there so I got two hooks at the end and the rubber band kind of keeps the hook in place and this bait is going to roll, roll, roll mimicking injured bait fish and at the end I'm simply going to tie the same knot polymer knot so you get the little chain swivel or you can use the bead chain And you got about three to four feet of liter line and a breast super bait couple. Once again, this became my favorite lure for salmon. However, I'll always have the apex in the tackle box as a backup, but this is gonna be this is my go to uh, lure for salmon. So, with the double pack. 
it's not pre-rigged so you're gonna get two extra bubble bands and uh, two lures that's it no hooks no chain swivel anything like that so if you have any questions please comment down below and as always thank you for watching please like comment share and subscribe stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors Fish up, fish up, fish up. I think he's ready. He's ready. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Can't complain. Chrome limit.